what's going on YouTube? It's Nikki the Bombshell Biker and today we're doing a little gear review. So today we're going to talk about my helmet and my riding sweater. Um, I don't have like a riding jacket jacket yet. I've been using my hoodie for just shy of a year or so and I really love them both. Um, both my helmet and my jacket are from Speed and Strength. We got them from Chaparral and they actually have uh, coinciding patterns, which is really nice. Um, and that was what Speed and Strength intended to do. They wanted to have a helmet that matched a jacket. They wanted their gear to match, which is really nice because I like to be coordinated. And it's also really awesome because they have like animal print on them. And that's kind of my jam, if you couldn't tell. And I totally did not even plan that out. I was already just wearing this shirt today. Uh, so we'll start with my helmet. So my helmet over here, both of these are from the Cat Out of Hell series. Um, it, this helmet retails for about $199.99 at Chaparral. You can probably find it for different prices other places. Uh, I had to get the extra large because I have a big head and a lot of hair, as you can see. So normally my hair is braided when we go riding and they wear a do-rag underneath it to kind of and tame the beast a little bit. But I really enjoy it. It has removable washable pads inside. It's not really heavy, which I really like because I don't feel like I'm being weighed down. It has this helmet, this version of the Cat Out of Hell series is the white with like the pearl zebra stripes. They also have a black with white stripes and a red with yellow stripes or yellow with red stripes. One of those color combinations. I didn't care for it. But anyways, so this one is the white and pearl. And the other thing I really like about this, which I didn't know at the time we bought my helmet because I hadn't had to buy a new helmet in years was that it, you bring down the little like visor for your sunglasses, which is really nice for me because I have to wear my glasses to see and to function. And so for me, it's really nice that I can keep my glasses on and have the sunglasses option. And then if it, you know, you go past it and it goes right back up. I apologize for how dirty this is because I need to clean it really bad. So that's that. Like I said, it's got a lot of vents. It's got the two up here um, open and closed with the little levers. It's got the one in the front of the mouth, which is really nice. Helps with it from fogging up when it's too hot or too cold. It also has some vents back here. Um, so it kind of pulls it through and helps keep your head a lot cooler. So other than that, it is DOT certified. It needs to be for the state of California and pretty much everywhere. And that's pretty much it for the helmet. So we'll step over to the hoodie real quick. So this is my speed and strength hoodie. Also dirty. Sorry about it. Um, but it is the black and white version. It also has a gray and black where the white is replaced with a gray. There's a red and black version where the red replaces the white. Also has the really cool zebra prints on the sleeve, which is kind of cool because it's hidden. And that's what I liked about the helmet too, was it wasn't like blaringly zebra print, but I do have a helmet that looks like that, but I haven't been able to wear it because I have to get new liner for it. And there's another, like my gloves are super bright, but I liked that this was visible. You can see me coming down the road because this is reflective. This is white and I ride in bright orange bike. I also like that it's a hoodie because I have always ridden like hoodies, but I never had one that has armor. So it has armor in the elbow pads, in the shoulder, and it also has, oh, sorry, it's heavy, the big uh, back piece, which is nice too. Not that I'm ever wanting to go down, but it's nice to know that if and when I do, it's there to help me out and it's in important places for me. It also has some extra fit like comfort zippers. So if I need to loosen it up, if I want to put another sweater underneath it, which I have done, as well as put my vest over it, it's still really comfortable. The shoulder pads feel a little bulky when I wear the vest over it, but I think it's just because the vest and the shoulder, like I feel like I'm up to here. But it has a hood, it's nice and warm. It's got really good lining on it. Let me turn it back over here. Um, it does keep me really warm because it gets kind of cold here. It doesn't get as cold as it does in other places in the world, like not trying to say that. But for Southern California, it does the job really nicely. But it has this nice Kevlar inner lining, super comfortable, super breathable. 
but keeps you nice and toasty. In the sleeves, it also has the little loop for your thumb, so you can keep it down when you're riding. You just, even after you put on your gloves, loop your thumb through it and it keeps it onto your arm so you're not catching a bunch of wind up your arms, which is really nice. But again, I just, I really enjoy that they match and that they're a set because I feel like it makes a cohesive look and I'm not as mismatchy. And then you see my gloves and they're super bright, but I really like it. And I, I really love animal print. So for me, it was right up my alley when we found them, which was awesome. And so if that's something that's up anyone else's alley, Speed and Strength's got you back. Um, the hoodie retails for around $129.95, so about $130, but it's worth every penny because I'm comfortable in it. It looks really good when it's on and it's durable. Like it's been several months and there's no wear or tear on the sweater. And I wear it fairly often, especially now that it's been colder. I can't go riding without it because it keeps me warm. It keeps me very comfortable and I can, I can move really easily. I don't feel like I'm being, you know, trapped in my own hoodie, which is nice too. But yeah, so that's it for my speed and strength. Like I said, I got mine at Chaparral. So Chaparral is a local motorcycle dealer and gear emporium is what we're calling it. You can get all kinds of stuff, dirt bikes, ATVs, all kinds of hoopla. I'm not putting a plug in for Chaparral. Just, it's just one of the largest dealers here in Southern California. So if you live in Southern California and you are involved in any kind of motorcycling, you know what Chaparral is. And we're really fortunate it's right down the road for us. So I grew up there. Like there's a lady that's been there. I'm getting off topic, so I'm going to stop that part of the conversation. So that's just going to keep going forever. So we'll get back on topic here. All right. So this has been my quick little gear review for you. I'll have more of these coming out soon. But as far as the Speed and Strength Cat Out of Hell series armored hoodie and helmet, they are bombshell tested, bombshell approved, whatever that freaking means. But I will thank you so much for stopping by. Stay safe and stay sassy. You need to calm yourself, Mr. Uh, Director.